आपस नहीं इसलिए बोल रहा हूं इल्लू कट्टी चूड़ू पहली चेसी चूड़ू मतलब ये हुआ कि घर बना के देखो शादी करके देखो दोनों भी बहुत जिंदगी में बहुत बहुत मतलब यू नो टफ चैलेंजेस है ये कहावट थी इसीलिए कहावट वहां से आई सवाल ये था कि किसी आदमी को अगर अपना मकान बनाना था एक घर बनाना था क्यों उसको मतलब 50 साल पैसा एक एक पैसा जोड़ के बनाना होता था क्योंकि हमारी माइंडसेट हमारी कल्चर ऐसी थी कंडीशनिंग ऐसी थी कि भाई कुछ भी करो बट कर्ज मत उठाओ कुछ भी करो जिंदगी में किसी के आभारी नहीं रहना है कुछ भी करो बचपन से सिखाया जाता है बट द फैक्ट इज इफ यू लुक एट मोस्ट डेवेलप्ड कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड हु डू वी थिंक आर द मोस्ट डेवेलप्ड कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स जर्मनी जापान द टॉप थ्री इकोनॉमीज आर यूएस चाइना एंड जापान यूएस लुक एट यूएस देयर डेट जी डी पी रेशियो इज हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन परसेंट द डेट जी डी पी रेशियो ऑफ जापान इज मोर देन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट द डेट जी डी पी रेशियो ऑफ इंडिया एज अ कंट्री इज फिफ्टी नाइन परसेंट द डेट जी डी पी रेशियो ऑफ तेलंगाना इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट माई पॉइंट इज If you look at 28 states in India and rank them on a debt GSDP ranking, we are ranked in the top, you know, you know, bottom five. Ranked in the bottom five. If you ask me, we haven't leveraged our economy enough. What matters is you raise a debt, but where do you invest it? If you raise a debt and invest into ramping up your power infrastructure, moving from a power deficit state to a power sufficient or power surplus state, would that be a wrong investment? Would that not attract more industry? Would that not attract more and more investment would that not create more wealth if you actually invest if you raise a debt and invest in drinking water needs of the state are you not cutting down on the out of pocket expenditure for health are you not cutting down on all the typical you know news that you would you know see in a, a winter season or a rainy season you know at the onset of a monsoon in telugu every newspaper used to write i remember as a kid mansam pattina manyam agency lo antu rogalu matlab infectious diseases waterborne diseases which were rampant in the agency areas and tribes and even the habitations in rural habitations just with one project called mission bagirath where we invested 40000 plus crores today we've been able to take care of all of that healthcare concerns we've been able to cut down out of pocket expenditure for our people and we've done a magnificent job of becoming truly an aspirational state for the rest of india likewise when we took a project loan and have committed and invested in a project like kaleshwaram which as richer said has created wealth outside of hyderabad because she was pointing out this lopsided development or lopsided focus on hyderabad does it help in the long run no it doesn't of course you have to decentralize of course you have to industrialize in other pockets of course you have to focus on rural livelihoods of course you have to create avenues to create wealth outside of hyderabad unless you do that people are going to migrate people are going to urbanize people are going to suburbanize that is a fact so what have we done with that money that we have raised as a debt where did we invest we have invested in power infrastructure not power for us but power infrastructure we have invested in drinking water infrastructure we have invested in infrastructure for irrigation we have invested in industrial infrastructure after having invested in these rural areas let me give you example of what we've accomplished if somebody was to ask me today what is the telangana model if you have to define in one sentence i will tell you telangana model is unique it's holistic it's integrated it's inclusive it's balanced in telugu if i have to put it samagra samikrita sammilita samatulya abhiruddhi telangana sadinchindi etla antaro if you ask me what do you mean you know are these all fancy fluff words can you back it up i'll tell you how i just told you that our agri exports have risen our agri expansion has happened by more than 119% 68 lakh metric tons to 3.5 crore metric tons of production of paddy and procurement that has happened on one side in the rural areas on the other side in hyderabad our it exports were 56000 crore and as of this year it is 2.41 lakh crore the number of people working in technology in hyderabad was 323000 3 23000 ,000. as of this year it's 9 lakh 5000 we have tripled our we've quadrupled our it exports we have also done exceedingly well on agri exports and agri expansion that's a balanced model we are less than 3% of india in terms of population we are only 2.5% of india in fact if i have to be precise but we win 30% of the awards when it comes to national panchayati awards or national municipality awards 
Is that not proof, of, proof enough that urban development and rural development are going hand in hand in a very unique way in Telangana? Also, let me add, industrialization has been rampant, as Richa mentioned. We have we've been able to attract marquee investments through TSI pass and a number of things that we do. But not only has industry grown, environment has not suffered. Typically, all around the world, you'd see industry growing and therefore, as a consequence, environment suffering. That has not happened in Telangana. Industry has been growing rapidly, but environmental consciousness of the leader of the state, of our chief minister, is laudable because under his leadership, today, we are the state which has grown the maximum in terms of green cover, 7.7%. 5,13,000 acres of new forest has been created in the state of Telangana, unlike any other state in India. So this is, the law, this is the balanced model I'm talking about. And this is the inclusive society. We have not discriminated anybody. It could be a migrant, it could be a, a person from rural background, or an urban background, or no matter where they are from, which part of India they are from, or which part of the world they are from. They've all been made to welcome. I keep saying this and I can't say it enough. Those of, me, uh, those of you who cover me are probably tired of you know, hearing this, but nevertheless, let me say it. I tell all the investors that I meet that Hyderabad is that melting pot, because you mentioned migrants, Richard. Hyderabad is that melting pot, and Hyderabad is that point of confluence, where the north of India meets the south of India. When someone comes from Hyderabad, someone comes from Bihar or Uttar Pradesh, it seems like someone else comes from another house. 